Okay, first grade. So today we are going to be using watercolor paints. And watercolor paints come to us in a tray like this. And you need water to wake them up. So if I just put my paintbrush in it like this, nothing's going to happen. I need the water to wake it up. And so that's why they're called watercolor, because you need water to use them. So we're going to learn a technique today. It's called a wet on wet. So basically we need a lot of wet things for this to work. So what I'm going to do first, I write my name on the back of my paper, always flip it over, and then you want to dip your paintbrush into your water, and you want to get your paper wet. Now I'm just going to get the top of my paper wet, I'm not going to get the whole thing wet. I'm just going to work at the top right now. And then you need to get some wet paint to put on top of the wet paper. So you want to get a lot of water on your brush. And you want to pick three colors. So we're doing a wet on wet technique using several colors. So we need more than one. Several means more than one, more than two. But it doesn't mean every single color. So I'm going to start. I'm going to get some water into that yellow. Make it nice and wet. So now I have wet paint, and I'm going to put it onto the wet paper. Okay, and then I'm going to rinse, get a little more water on my brush, and I'm going to pick orange because I'm making kind of like a sunset type of image. So you want to think of those colors that you might see. And I'm filling the orange in the spots where the yellow didn't hit. And I might want to pick maybe a red. So red, yellow, and orange. These are all called warm colors. And I can add that in. All right, so then what you want to do, rinse your brush and now move down your paper. Now I'm going to get this part of my paper wet. And I might go ahead and just do the whole rest of the paper right here. Now you do need um, water for this to work, so don't be scared to get the water on that paper. Because if you don't have enough water, it might not do what it's supposed to do. And then you just want to do more of the same. Get your wet paint. And I start with yellow first just because it's lighter and that way I don't accidentally um, get it mixed with another color in the paint tray. Nice and wet. Rinse, rinse. Get wet orange. So here is my wet on wet painting. It does look like a sunrise or a sunset using watercolor paints. Um, what you will notice is if you tilt your paper, the paint will move on you because it is so wet. So you want to try to keep your paper flat when you go to move it to the drying rack. Hold it with two hands. If you tilt it, the water will fall off the paper and it will drip onto the floor. So wet on wet technique using watercolor paints. Okay, so now my paint is dry and I am able to draw on top of it. And you guys want to think of a memory that you have had of something in your life. Um, and you want to think maybe if you can tie it into being a sunrise or a sunset. So maybe sometime you've been on vacation and you've seen the sun go down. Um, and try to think of what that looked like. Even if you haven't seen it on vacation, maybe just at home when you've watched the sun go down, or if you're at a park or at a soccer game, um, something where you've seen a sunrise or a sunset. So what I'm going to do with a pencil, I'm going to draw my scene. And I got to go to a place called Hawaii. <clears throat> and I remember when I was in Hawaii that I got to see one of the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen in my whole life. And the sun was reaching the water and I could see a sailboat 
and I was on the shore. So that's what I'm going to draw. It is a memory of mine. Your memories will be different. So I drew it with pencil first. It is kind of hard to see a little bit because I drew kind of light. And then I'm going to take a permanent marker and I am going to outline the shapes that I drew. So down here I'm going to have the ground and I remember there being some kind of um, kind of like bushes and a little bit of grass where I was. So that's why I'm giving it all the spiky kind of lines. And then there was palm trees. But I'm just going to make one big palm tree here. All right, and then I made a line. This is called my horizon line. This is where the ocean meets the sky. So I skip behind my sailboat, skip behind my tree. <clears throat> All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color my tree, the grass, and my boat. I'm going to color it all in with black Sharpie. And when you use a Sharpie, you want to color it in in small sections, small areas. If you try to color like this, it's, the Sharpie is going to seem like it's drying out. So you just want to keep it tiny and then kind of turn your Sharpie a little bit if it seems like it's running low. Turn it if it seems like it's running low. And you'll probably be able to get it all done. If your Sharpie does run out completely, then you can put it in the Shar Sharpie Hospital. Sometimes Sharpies just need to take a little breather if you've been using them for a long time and they look like they're drying out. Sometimes they just need to rest and then you can pick them back up in a few minutes and they'll work. Um, so if your Sharpie needs a rest, just put it back in your bin, try out a new one, see if that one works. That's just kind of the way Sharpies are. They kind of behave a little differently than regular markers. But I do want you to try your best to stay inside your lines. And when we are finished with this, it's going to look really beautiful. It's going to look like the sun is setting behind all of our shapes. So here I have colored everything, all my shapes, with the black permanent marker. And then I've added some lines in the water just to show that it's water and waves. And I'm complete with the drawing process so now what I'm just going to do I'm going to clean it up I'm going to take my eraser and I can just see a little bit of pencil marks from my drawing so I just want to get rid of those so I just see the black marker and that way it's nice and clean and here's my sunset painting and this is a memory that I had when I was at the ocean I also made another one, and this is um this is kind of ha a Halloween picture, but it's a memory of mine. I remember when I was little, I dressed up as a witch, and it rained really, really, really hard at one Halloween, and I had to run home, and I didn't get a lot of candy that year, but I remember it, and it's a memory, and then now every year I can kind of hang this picture up around Halloween time, because it's a good Halloween picture, and I can relate to it, because it really happened to me. So these are our sunrise, sunset artworks about a memory.